series. I'm gonna have about four episodes this month and it's gonna be so fun. So I'm gonna be doing like a beginner's guide to makeup because I remember when I started out makeup, I literally thought that powder was bronzer, and you might think that too, and that's why I am here to kind of guide you. There's also a lot of other beginner tutorials that you can watch that are also super handy. In today's video, we're gonna be focusing more on the face and cheeks and not the color and the eyes, all that. So if you wanna learn how to apply your primer foundation, contour, blush, and highlight. Make sure that you stay tuned to this video. I hope you guys like this series. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, and let's get straight on with the video. Okay, so we're here at my makeup vanity, and I wanna start off this series by saying, like, I don't know everything about makeup, of course. I don't wear makeup, like, every single day. I'm not super amazing at it, but I do have a fun, really cool tricks that I think you guys will really enjoy. So let's start off. When you're first doing your makeup, the first thing that you need is primer. It's hard to decide what type of primer you need. My skin is kind of in between dry and oily so I'm just like right in the center. It doesn't feel dry but it doesn't feel oily. So if you have more on the dry skin I would recommend getting an e.l.f. hydrating face primer. So you can get this at Target. It's super nice. I really love this one. I use it all the time. Or if you have more on the oily side then I would recommend this mattifying primer Poreless from Tarte. But any like mattifying or like just matte primer will work. Primer is just really, really good for your skin. It helps your makeup not to like wrinkle like on your laugh lines or all that type of stuff so your makeup stays fresh looking all day. It also helps it to stay on all day, which is really, really awesome. And all you have to do is squirt it onto your finger about that much. You don't want to cover your face. And just dab a little onto each part of the face. And then you literally blend it in with your hands, which is the most easy thing to do. Very, very important. And it feels honestly so nice. The next step to your makeup is foundation. So I don't really wear foundation a lot, but I know a lot of you guys do want to wear foundation. But before I put on my foundation, y'all are probably wondering the same question. wearing makeup, all the comments were saying like, what? I'm 13, I'm not even allowed to wear makeup. So the question of the day is how do you get your mom to let you wear makeup? Hmm. Well, personally for me, I never really like had a talk with my mom. I never really asked her. She was just kind of always cool with it. But if your mom just kind of says like, nah, I don't really want you wearing makeup. Something that you could say to her is that, mom, please, I'll wash it off every night, which is a huge bonus because the way you get acne is if you don't wash it off. And most moms don't want you wearing makeup because they don't want you to have bad skin when you're older and they think that makeup should be for older kids, which is totally understandable. Another thing is it's also really, really good practice for the future to not look like a clown in the future. Like, you want to be able to practice before you have to start wearing makeup every day. And overall, I think makeup is just really fun to do. It's kind of like being an artist, but for your face. And it's really fun to look pretty and to take pretty selfies when you have makeup on. If your mom just says no, 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 then you should definitely obey her because your mom has rules and you need to obey them but those are just some things that you could tell your mom to try to convince her and we're back so now moving on to foundation so I actually have two foundations that I use when I do wear foundation because I don't wear foundation a lot it's very very I don't know it's kind of uncomfortable to be wearing it all day long but if you do wear foundation to school a lot and stuff like that then I would recommend these two foundations. I think they're really nice. So this one is for very natural skin. So if you're young like me and you don't really have any acne or blemishes yet, but you still want to wear foundation, I recommend this one. It's Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint. This one is from Target and it's super, super light coverage. But this one from BH Cosmetics is good for dr very dry skin. It's a bit oily, which is why we always apply powder, but we'll get to that. BH Cosmetics Liquid Foundation. I got this one at Target and it was very very cheap. I don't I don't know how much this one was because I got it in a PR package, but I still really, really, really love it. There's different ways that you can apply your foundation. So some people a lot of people like to use brushes. I don't think brushes work very well. I honestly don't really recommend them. This is a foundation and concealer brush. It's from Macy's. But a beauty blender is the way to go, you guys. I love beauty blenders. They just smooth everything out so quick. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to blend using both things just in case you don't have a beauty blender or you don't have a brush. This beauty blender always needs to be run under some water. And then you have to squeeze out all of the extra water. 
This one comes with an applicator. An applicator is that little spongy thing, and when you have that, you can just apply it directly onto your face in like little triangles, like on this side. It doesn't really matter if you do it in a triangle or not, usually just do like lines. Put some on your chin and a little bit on your nose. But if you have a different foundation, then you're probably gonna get one of these little guys. So when you have a squirt bottle like this, you can either put it onto your wrist or you can put it directly on the beauty blender. So I like to put it on the beauty blender just because it's faster, and when you get on your wrist, and your wrist is all messy. Put little dots on my face. You can put some on your neck because you never want your face to be darker than your neck because then you're like, that girl's wearing foundation. So blending is basically dabbing your beauty blender on your face like this. Just go boop, 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 boop. I'm gonna do this side beauty blender and this side with the brush. And you just spread the foundation all around your face. I love the combination of these foundations because one of them is very dry and one of them is very oily. Okay, so that's my finished foundation. My face does look a bit oily. Um, that's because this foundation is very, very, very oily. This is not going to work as good because obviously this is a lot smaller. And so a brush, you just kind of do similar motions. You just kind of go down, down, down and do a little bit of dabs. So you just kind of move it around all over your face. I might go in with the Beauty Blender after this just because the foundation is not really reaching. Oh my eye! Okay, I need to go in with the Beauty Blender. There's so many unblended parts that I just look horrendous. So if you guys are starting off, please get a Beauty Blender. You can get a really cheap one at Target. If you have oily skin or an oily foundation, the next step would be to apply powder. Powder basically keeps your makeup on for a very long time and it gives you like a matte finish. So I'm going to blend this with a big brush. So if you've ever seen one of these, this is for powders. I got this one from e.l.f. and you just kinda, kinda go like this. And this is a very light powder, so it should also lighten my skin a little bit, which is good. My face already feels very matte now and very dry, which is really good. You never want that, like, oily feel. So now, if you wanted, you could totally pop on some mascara and some lip gloss, and you'd be done. Those things are going to be covered in the next video, just by the way. But I'm going to take it to the next step, so you can end the video right here if you think that this look is natural enough for you. But I'm going to tell you guys about bronzer highlight and blush. These are all the best things in the world. Basically, these three things add dimension and complexion and color to your face. So I'll start with bronzer. This is a bronzer. I love this one. So bronzer is to go around like right here to make it look like you have cheekbones, which sounds so weird. It makes you look kind of sculpted. And there's a lot of different brushes you can use for bronzer, but I like to use this one from BH Cosmetics. It's my Ray Ray collab. This one is super nice, so it's a small blending brush. It's an oval shape and you just go like right there. There's also this one, it's the bigger version, so I will sometimes use this one to apply all of the product, and then I use this one to kind of blend it all out. The technique to really get the right spot is to go like that, and then you can kind of see a line where you should put the bronzer. So that is not blended, but you kind of want to go in that area. Take on a bigger brush. To blend it out, I'm just using circular motions around the spot where I applied the product, and it already looks like I have cheekbones. I love bronzer, but as you can see, it's very dramatic, so not a lot of people need to wear it because it's just very dramatic. I'm gonna take a little more of the bronzer using my bigger fluffy blending brush. I'm just gonna apply some to the hairline. Next would be blush. So this one is from Tarte. It's a very, very, very natural blush. So I always apply just like a little bit because I really don't think I need blush because I have very rosy cheeks. I would use a big fluffy blender brush like this one. This one's the same one I use for powder. So it just goes right at the front of your cheeks when you, you have to smile when you do blush, which I think is super awesome. I'm just taking a little bit. I feel like this blush isn't too pigmented just because I never really see a big difference when I apply it. I apply it to the squishy part of my cheeks about right there. To apply it, I don't really have like a technique or anything. I just kind of, I've always just kind of gone in circular motions. That's the best way I think to blend. Okay, so highlight is actually the best thing in the world. So highlight makes you look like you shine. You can see it like has like a shine to it. I love, love, I love highlight. This is a Tarte, the Tarte Stunner one. It smells so good. I have another one that's the Tarte Expose that works just as well. I use a lot of different brushes throughout the years. So I started by using this little guy. This is a highlight brush. It's a circle, but it's very stiff, and it's just so you can get it right in the corner. And then I found this one, and it was bigger, and I started using this one as well, because they're the same brush, just one's bigger and one's smaller. I recently started using a fan brush. I got this one at Target for 
$15 is very expensive, but I really like this one. I'm gonna use both brushes on each side just to show you that guys that you can use any type of brush. Highlight just goes right up on there's a bone that you can feel. It's like right here. And it just kind of goes up to your temple. I don't know if you guys can see that shine, but it looks super nice. If you want to go the extra mile, you can apply it to the top of your lip, like right here, and the tip of your nose. Ooh! Sideways like this on the tip of my nose, and it smells so good. And then on the top of my lip. For this side of my highlight, I'm going to use this little brush that you guys can also use. So I dip it in the product, and then you just go boop. Boop, 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 kind of like a swing. I just kind of drag it. And the same amount of product gets on, and it's super nice. I just like the feel of the fan brush more on my face because it's more soft. And that is the makeup look for episode one of the makeup series. I love this look. I think it's very dramatic. I want to show you guys my friend's mom's best makeup tip that she has from all of her years of experience. In the next video, I'm going to be covering how to apply color to your face because right now I just kind of look, you know, bland. I would never just wear this look just out because you need something on your eyes and the lips and the brow. And thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like the makeup and I hope you guys will like this series coming up. The next video is going to be super awesome. Bye!